Welcome back. Good morning. We are in now sunny Germany. Uh, it's an area where my dad took us children quite often. Um, we loved it here because it's a huge wine area. We love Tastable. So, uh, and going up the uh, pass through the Burg Aare. Um as usual has to be on top of the hill. On the way up here I saw the devastation at the flood in I think 2020, end of 2020. 2021. Bad. Wow. Um, bloody hell. A lot of the buildings close to the river in this village have been damaged, destroyed. So, uh, yeah, it's interesting. On the way back, I will take some better video footage. As I said, a uh, lot of disruption around here. All the houses you can see down there, the old ones. And they're, they're empty and condemned. And you, know, you see machinery, big digging machinery and everything everywhere. Oh. Here's the thing, I'm pretty sure my dad took me up here when we stayed in this area and he isn't wrong but I have no recollection which is a shame Yeah, you see the destroyed bridge down there, railroad bridge. And construction on the other side too. It doesn't look too bad from up here, but down there it looks terrible.
come to the level where you actually see the damages, the destruction out of it. Standing on top of the Ochsenkopf bunker, part of the uh, secret line the Germans built to yeah, kind of as a last stand against the Allies. Um, <coughs> a bit blown up. <laughs> Can't see how to get down there, really. There's an illegal bike track here. I followed down most of the way. Uh, that is getting ridiculous now. So no idea how to get down there. Probably can't. This um, area has seen a lot of bloodshed. Um, it's called the area of three losses because it's where the crime government of the Nazis fought, where the Heimatfront, so the home front, people were mobilized and thrown against the Allies, and where the Allies lost a lot of men. And just keep it in your head 50,000 people lost their lives on the Allied side. Don't know how many on the German side. But uh, even years later, uh, I think in 2000, they found this gentleman, Robert Kayo. After 55 years, and further down there, there's a marker for three people they found after 32 years. Two of which were American. One was 
and they actually have the names for, for the Americans. Uh, I forgot them, sorry. And one is a German soldier, no name. Yeah. Just draw the parallels to what's going on in Ukraine right now. Where Tsar W. The house elf Putin is invading a friendly country, try to oppress them, and he sends in his soldiers, all based on lies, and they kill, and the Ukrainians have to really protect themselves and fight back. And many, many are dying. Just for... Just for this one stupid fuck. Same as in the 40s with Hitler and the Nazis. thing is you walk through the woods and you see these ditches and you don't think anything of it but these are the trenches they used both sides depending on who was pressuring and, uh, this was one of the bloodiest battles in this area Or on home soil, let's put it that way. Oh, walk past the bunker. There. Oh, there's one of them. Okay. Quite a few of them here. Should be another bunker here somewhere. Is that it? Oh, yeah. Right on the road. Next to the <coughs> Much left of this one. Up there. Apparently it's a motor station. Seeing this being blown up, and I'm also quite happy that I wasn't close by even time. Must have been loud. 